All right, guys, we have the weapon. It does not have a catalyst, but it comes with the perk all at once. Holding down the trigger marks targets within range and loads multiple bullets, which fires in a burst with increased stability or trigger release. Hitting a marked target with a fully charged burst will unravel them. So it's a combination of Devil's Ruin and TQs. Pick your poison, hip firing, projectiles will track marked targets, dealing increased body shot damage on impact, and then aiming. Uh, projectiles have greatly increased velocity and deal extra critical hit damage to marked targets. So you can fire this sidearm like a regular sidearm. Or you can hold down the trigger, chat. And then it will fire in a burst of 10. So it's tracking rounds. Look at that. All right, synergize beautifully here with Strand. You'd love to see it. Uh, do you feel like this is more of a PvP sidearm or, or PvE sidearm? PvE. PvE? Yeah. The Not damage is ridiculous. PvE or PvP? PvE, PvE. Oh, damage is ridiculous? Yeah. I tested it on Carl. If you aim down sight and charge it and create, it does 12,000 per shot. What the fuck? Yeah, it does. It does substantial crazy damage. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll go test this on Carl. 12,000 per. So it's 120,000 per burst. Pretty much. Create does 6,000 damage per crit. But then when you're aiming on sight, it increases the damage when you tra tracking around. Oh. It doubles it, essentially. So you want to aim down sights and charge? Yes. Do you want the track? But you don't have to fully charge the burst, you know what I mean? So, like... You want the tracking notification. The tracking... Yeah, icon. you want the thing to turn red. Once it turns red, let go, and then you'll be able to shoot it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's how it works, at least. All right, I don't know. I need to go test this outside of this environment. Now you see, guys, this sidearm has tracking, but it also, when you aim down sights, it's almost like a a devil's ruin, but not exactly a fusion rifle. Which we're gonna we're gonna compare damage in just a second. All right, let's just see how it how it compares. So if you hold down the trigger. Plus, mine's doing 12,000 damage per, per per burst. That's what I was telling you. Oh, you were doing 12,000? Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's 12,000 per shot. When you ADS and have the tracking on him. Which is pretty good. <laughs> it's just hitting those headshots. Yeah, it's hitting the headshots, but man, it does so much damage that it's like, it's almost worth it. But you can also pre-charge it from the hip, but it does increase body shot damage. So it's doing 6,000, so it essentially doubles the damage when you charge it. Good lord. To just shoot or not charge? No, you have, you have two different options, guys. Hip fire will track Projectiles will track marked targets, dealing increased body shot damage on impact. So think of like Tiku's Divination. Aiming, projectiles have increased velocity and deal extra critical hit damage on marked targets. Um, now, with aiming, you can also hold and charge. And you'll get 10 full bullets of double damage from your crits. Now, I do want to compare this to Devil's Ruin. Because that's the combination. It's a combination of Tiku's and and devil's ruin um and devil's ruin is like it's a mini it's like a mini fusion rifle you shoot it like a regular sidearm now what you can't do what you can't do is that right there notice i come down here i shoot it all the way down to one shot and then i charge it it's still just one shot now let me show you this if we go here to devil's ruin i bring it all the way down here to one shot See where I'm coming from? So, Devil's Ruin, you can get down to the final shot. 
and still do a burst. Now they both have a similar charge time. It's a thousand, a thousand for each of them. Um, so this is a thousand charge time. That's a thousand charge time. We're doing 120,000 plus per burst of the strand sidearm. We're going to see how much we're doing with devils here. Now let's show, let's just show what it can do. 3,000 per. All right. It's kind of hard to keep up with what the hell's going on here. Oh, crap. I thought Devil's Ruin was going to do more damage. Devil's Ruin is fantastic. By the way, Intrinsic Unstoppable. Oh, I could just be using the sidearm, I guess, and then go for the charge. Okay. All right, now let's go back to this sidearm. You just saw Devil's Ruin taking down Carl. Man, it was, it was kind of struggling, no lie. I'm not, if I just wouldn't miss all my damn shots. Four bars. Four bars. Gives you an idea. Gives you an idea of the damage you're looking at, guys. It's, it is a, a potent ass sidearm. And look, you know, as soon as you need to, you can turn it into a damn tracking machine. You know, you know, again, this is the Tiku version of it. Um, now I'm also taking advantage of some things. So let me, let me take off some of the things that's synergizing with it. What's unfortunate is I have artifact mods on right now that are benefiting strand weapons greatly. But I think most people that are going to be rocking strand weapons are going to be using these perks. I'll show you in just a second. You cannot hold the trigger down, by the way, even in hip fire mode. You have to tap fire it, guys. And the reason why that is is because it thinks you're charging it. See where I'm coming from? You have to tap fire it. And there seems to be a limit on the tracking. Rest in peace, controller. Yeah, it is a bummer, but... <clears throat> it's interesting because it almost feels like you should be able to... Hold the trigger down from the hill. Um, and it only does its charge up feature when you aim down sides. But I guess if you wanted to hit fire with it. Keep in mind though, you do increase damage when you aim down sides. And you want to you want to get that, <clears throat> that tracking and charge when you aim down sides. Is there any synergy with necrotic grips? Mm, no, I haven't seen any. Strand is separate. If that was the case, there'd be a lot of SRAM weapons that would synergize. No catalyst yet. No. But honestly, it doesn't need it. Now, what's good... No, what's not good... See, notice... Notice... Notice the, the tracking box going away. And then the damage drops back to 6,000. That's me tap firing. If you're looking to get the most out of the damage per shot, you want to aim down sight. And charge. Now, what you don't have to do... Is you don't have to keep holding the trigger. So as in you go for the charge. As soon as you get it, let go and start charging again. You just got to get the timing down. Because notice the meter on the left. The meter on the left is indicating how, much, how many shots you have charged. So sometimes it's seven. Sometimes it's just four or five. So. Well, I guess the other one does. If you're looking to pre-charge the next shot though. You can save some time. So, like, what I mean by that, chat, if you're looking to pre fire, it's almost like 1k voices because of the long charge time. You're holding, you let go, you start charging right now. You see what I mean? You're holding, let go, start charging right now. You see where I'm coming from, guys? So, you can shoot the back to back 20. Now, this is the speed of it if I was just holding the trigger. It may not be that different. So you may not actually be able to... 
I feel like I'm releasing quicker. I feel like I am releasing a little bit quicker, but it could be in you my are. head. <clears throat> Let's, can we go to Templar? I just want to see what what crazy damage values that this, this sidearm can do. All right, guys, I need a well. Hydro, can you give me a well? Everyone else, and can you give me Luna Faction boots? Everyone else, just spread out and don't get me detained. I do want to mention that everything today, um, rapidly, rapid final blows. Okay, these are final blows. Rapid final blows. Destroying a tank with a strand weapon. The one thing we do have that is benefiting our weapon as we land precision hits is threat of isolation. Sever. The target's connections to the world around them are cut. Their outgoing damage significantly reduced. Sever targets unwind into a tank. So we're not actually getting like a debuff or anything like that. But let me just make sure we don't have anything here that could help us more. Let's just see what it looks like, base guys. All right, pop it. Everybody spread out. Everybody spread out. Oh, shit. Bless, I need you to join me in just a second. I got to be able to communicate. Fine. I'm going to join you right now. 306. Damn. That's pretty spice. So what, what's definitely hurting the weapon? I'm going to try... I'm going to try pre-charge it. Les, when you come in, I want you to do... I'm, we're going to do a countdown. That way it can be pre-charged going into it. Oh, for a sidearm? That's fantastic. We're talking like... If our numbers are still the same, we're talking like up there with like Outbreak. You know, let's touch. Just touch is not working right right now. But yeah, search mods do work. Right now, we're just testing the weapon on its own. Hitting a marked target with a fully charged burst will unravel them. So that's why... So the target, that's the extra damage. They take additional damage. They create unraveled projectiles that seek out nearby targets. That's that's a huge reason why unraveling is so good here, Les. Is that it's doing all this extra damage. Mm -hmm. Unraveling rounds from your strand weapons pierce and shield. The shields of barrier champions it stuns them. Unraveling targets unwind into a tangle when defeated. It's literally like three and one. But all that extra damage that you're seeing, guys, that's from unraveling rounds. All right. Three, two, one. So I actually think I can get it faster, less. I think I can get. I think I can get so I, four full bursts on it. Okay, okay, so yeah. I'm getting somewhere around like three and a half right now. But that's me holding the trigger champ. That's not actually me pre-charging, or that's me pre-charging the 361. I'm gonna see if I can speed it up a little bit. If we do this right, we'll get 400k in this in this time frame, which is excellent for a primary weapon. And in comparison, that's outpacing things like. I don't have Touch of Malice on me, so we, but when we tested Touch of Malice last season, that's outpacing Touch. Outbreak perfected. Hierarchy of Needs. The things that do beat it, though, of course, are still like Lucky Pant primary weapons, but that that makes you you have to use a Hunter it's with Lucky Pants. Chat, bear with me on this one. I'm going to try to get my timing down. I'm going to pre-charge it similar to what we do with like 1k voices. All right, three, two, one. Okay, I can definitely do it less. It is faster. I messed up a little bit, but I can definitely get it. 374. All right. All right, so this is confirming, guys. What this is confirming is you can pre-charge it in a similar way, 1,000 voices. What, what that means is when you actually are firing, instead of holding down the trigger the whole time and letting full auto do its thing, you want to aim down sights and then release and start charging immediately. That way, it, see the game, see how it speeds it up? So, yeah, let's do this. As soon as you see it hit the left, let go, guys. But the left down here, see, as soon as you see it hit the fourth bar, let go. What? Watch though. There's a slight delay there if you hold down the trigger. If you're just holding down the trigger and letting the game dictate when to release the burst, it takes longer. So instead, you let go of it yourself. So that's that was when I didn't let go. That was me letting it go. All right. 
We've got Lunar Faction done. That's three, two, one. Let's! Ah! I did it between two and one. Okay, go. Right. Do the countdown. All right. Three, two, one. We're still good. Okay, I actually got four bursts out. Maybe. Chat, this confirms it right here. Look, look, look. When you're holding the trigger, guys, you, you re release as soon as that fourth bar is full. As soon as it's full. Don't wait for the game to dictate when it needs to release, okay? So just as a point of reference, guys, Devil's Ruin. I, I want to throw this up. Since we're, we're looking at sidearms, I'm going to throw Devil's Ruin up. And then, just for shits and giggle, I guess we can do Rat King. I do not have Touch of Malice. Um, but let me just throw up Devil's Ruin. Put Surge on to see what it can be. You can just do the math yourself, guys. I, I don't like putting Surge on and things like that, because then we're going to have to do that for every damage, for every weapon type that we mess with. Right? So... With any of those things, though, depending on... And also, it's like, how many search mods are you rocking? Again, fellas, we like to keep this apples to apples. Or eggplant to eggplant. And so, we don't include any search mods. Just a simple radiant buff, like, well. All right, Les. Three, two, one. The damage. The damage. Let's work with Mechaneers, yes. 217,000, yeah. I mean, Devil's Ruin is still a great... I, I love this sidearm. But, yeah, the Strand sidearm is definitely in the way. Let me pull out Forerunner. Here's the thing. Oversized sidearm with extended range, heavy caliber rounds, fires full auto, increases rate of fire. Uh, fires full auto with increased rate of fire, does increase precision damage to unshielded targets. So... I'm, again, not taking advantage of the grenade, although the grenade is what got the big buff last season. Um, we're just going to just showcase its sidearm capabilities. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one. I got the same, by the way. That's unfortunate. <laughs> So. Not bad for Forerunner. Keep in mind, this is a special weapon, though. This is a special. I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Uh, I'm sure we can break. We can get it close to 400. Oh, yeah, right. that's be... Three, two, one. All right, that's the best I can do, chat. Best I can do there with um, Forerunner. Again, keep in mind, this is a special sidearm. It's utilizing special ammo versus the primary ammo that we have an unlimited amount of from the Strand sidearm. Plus, the synergy from it is fantastic. Yeah. Forerunner, pretty much. Forerunner is barely better here, but damn near the same. Chat, do we have somebody else in here that has Rat King? We are now about to do a comparison between this and Rat King. I want to see Rat Pack have max stacks. All right. Everybody else back up. Pop it. Zone back up. Oh, you're going to get the Never mind. Okay. All right. That's, is that as good as it can get? That's as good as it can get. Better. Yeah, 284. <laughs> um, yeah. Ass. <laughs> Ass indeed. Now, for the... I think Racking's been power grabbed. This for, is the thing for Cider. For the sake Please. of of everybody in the PV community, everyone... Don't get me wrong. Outbreak is still fantastic. Can we all equip Outbreak? Alright. Do it less. Go to the ham, try to go to go, go. Yeah. <clears throat> the 
best. Sidearm is the best. Sidearm is By the best. a long shot. Granted, Outbreak offers more range, more ease of use. So I, I understand why Outbreak, like, like so many people like Outbreak. With that being said, though, uh, this little strand sidearm, final warning. See, if you're within range of any damage phase, this is the best primary damage in the game. Outside of Lucky Pants, Malfeasance, which is really, really good, but it does require you to use Lucky Pants and it has a cooldown. We can go do PvP now. I do want to try a Trick Sleeve build with this. So that's its tracking capabilities. I'm missing everything less. <laughs> it's doing 26 damage per body. I, I'm not in shit. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Let me hit. Let me. Let me. So let me. Let me look. 36 per crit. Chill, chill, chill. You need to fuck me up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now let me charge this thing. Oh my god. Yes. Oh indeed. my god. Hold on, Les. Hold on. You only have to charge. Okay, okay, okay. So to get the full 76. You need to be at least, let me see. Let me see how much. 71. Or 71. Yeah, it needs to be locked on. Let me, let me see exactly. Chat, look at the bottom left hand. I know it needs to be locked on. This oh my wonderful. God, dude, this is busted, Les. This is for real busted. That's what I said. And then I went this... to PVP and it was, I was getting shit on by a lot of other things. It had its moments though. Um, I don't know. There, there are a few times where, oh Lord, cross charge you know what, and hit You know fire. what's really good with this cross is if you do this. So like stand around that corner, like stand around behind here, like okay. right there. Yeah. Like oh I wow! Just go behind the wall, and it keeps tracking, and it keeps tracking you. As long as I'm locked on, the bullets will literally curve. So like, I'll stand right here, track me, and then go behind the wall, and then look left, and then look left. Oh wow! That's what makes it really good. So chat, once you get the tracking. All right, just... so so let's let's go over how to get the tracking. You have to hold down the fire trigger when you're looking at your opponent. That engages the tracking, and then you you're good. Now that was hitting the wall. Just now hold down the fire trigger. You have to hit fire. Oh. Oh my god. So it has like to be from. by with this is ridiculous. Like imagine you're grappling and then you get the tracking and then you kind of just let it do its thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like. All right. So. Oh my like... god. So it doesn't track until 23 meters. Yeah. Okay. I hit the wall right there. Hold on, hold on. All right, some damage follow-up. Damage follow-up begins at 16 meters. Yes. Oh my god, dude. So, hold on, hold on. It's not like stupid aggressive tracking, though. Okay, so, so I, I don't have to do a charge at all. I can get a lockdown and then just proceed to hip fire. Yeah. Gotcha. See what I mean? Yeah, you don't. That's what makes it so good because grapple you just go so fast. Once it locks in, we're good, guys. Well, I say that. You have to have a red box. The red box has to pop up. Mm -hmm. If it's in there still trying to zone in, it's not locked in. So just stand behind the wall and track. And then look up. No, no, Cross, you can stay behind the wall. <laughs> I know, I know, I am, I am. Hold on. Okay, okay. I envy your strength, Titan. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. <laughs> what the shit? What is happening? Wait, why do you keep walking out of your shield, though? 
Oh, I don't even have to walk out of my shield. You can literally just stand behind the shield. Oh my god! That's what I was trying to tell you. I was like, why okay, the hell okay. Are you moving around? Okay, hold on. Come, come back, come back. Just stand behind your barricade. Yeah. No, it won't. It won't actually. I have to walk out behind the barricade. No, if I try to aim, it, there is no. Oh, actually, no, no, no. It does work. It does work. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my lord. Inspiration to us all. Can we see if he can kill a well? Yeah, but I'm standing still. That's kind of hard. It is hard. It is hard. Y'all want to tell you if you're being tracked? I don't know, actually. Let me look. No, it, it has to be full blown, full blown crit burst. But it can do it definitely. And pretty easily, actually. It doesn't even have to be a full burst. My thing is like, when can I get the track? Like, at what point does it amplify the damage to 71? When it locks on. So as soon as it locks on. As soon as you see the red box, let go. And it will do the increased damage. Okay. But when you go back to hip, it goes to 36. Gotcha. All right. Well, chat, we've seen it right here. We're going to have, like, breakdown testing of this uh, for PvE and PvP. The main thing is, this is a strand weapon, and we have so many things that are benefiting strand weapons in our arsenal. But the other thing is that Final Warning does everything that you would want on a strand weapon. It it unravels. That's the big thing. It's like hitting a mark target with a fully charged burst will unravel them. On top of that, when you're actually aiming down sights and getting the tracking and hitting crits, it's doing double the damage. Um which inside of PvE is what's giving it such crazy numbers. And inside of PvP, you're essentially able to, to kill someone in or two crits, one body. Um, and I'm sure with things like Trick Sleeves, that goes up even higher. I, I actually think that with Trick Sleeves, you'll be able to do it probably in, in, a, in two bursts. Matter of fact, stay, stay right here, guys. I, I want you to just do damage to me. I, I'm almost certain we get two crits with Trick Sleeves. Wound me, wound me, wound me. Yeah, it's doing 90. It's only doing 94 per crit. I mean, that's still a lot. Now, I am curious. I don't think bow. I'm just curious what the interaction is with bow tracer. This bow tracer tracks too. You're almost there. I feel like bow tracer will fuck with it though. No. Well, it has a different. It has a different look. It's not the like square a marking. Yeah. I mean, you kind of don't need it. You don't really need it. Let me see what I'm. Let me see what I'm doing per body. Again, it's supposed to increase the damage on the last shot, but it's, it's such even... it's such a small amount, guys. I don't think bow tracer is worth your exotic. I don't. I don't think it's worth your exotic. You know what is worth your exotic slot with that is the new uh, hunter boots. It boosts your reload handling and airborne effectiveness. Oh my dodge. god. Oh my god! And then while the buff is active, if you get final blows, it it stacks up to five. I'm doing the legendary campaign again today then. Alright, um, I'm gonna go play a couple PvP games with this sidearm on my Titan. I just wanna see if it's as potent as, as what it claims to be or what it seems like it is. Now you're fighting with heart, Guardian. Three. Range. Oh my god. Strand is actually a shit ton of fun. Holy hell. Nice. Nice. There's the 71 per crit. Oh no. He got me. But I got the suspend off, dude. I think I was trying to get the charge then. That was beautiful though. Honestly, that whole interaction. I am liking it. I don't... The sidearm is definitely not OP. It's fun. But more so than anything, I'm just enjoying Strand and PvP. Dare I say... It's balanced. There you go. You captured zone C. You have advantage. There we go. It's tracking. Don't see lost. Enemy has zone there we go. 
Oh my god. Dude, once you get that tracking engaged though, and they haven't shot you, it's a it's a GG. Dude, this sidearm is nuts. Dude, I'm not even aiming on sign, I'm just hip firing it. <laughs> that is insane. That's yeah, I'm hip firing. Well, I'm getting the track. And then that's it. Oh my god, the tracking. Oh my god, let's I know the sidearm is not like the most meta thing, but in one v like it's not great for team shots. But in 1v1s, it it handles. It handles. We're gonna be doing strand builds all this weekend, man. I was kinda we were I'm glad they unlocked everything because three minutes left. Two for one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Oh my god. Down. Final warning, this sidearm, so disgusting. In both PvE and inside of PvP. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.